Hi everyone, I'm Stephanie Lolata, and I, along with my co-advisors, Dr. Amy Bowman and Dr. Casey Kambaugh, would like to welcome you to the Fall 2021 Induction Ceremony for new members into the Psychi International Honor Society in Psychology here at Texas A&M University, San Antonio. You've worked hard to earn an invitation to become a member of our Psychi chapter, and we are so very proud of your hard work and accomplishments. For the fourth semester in a row, we are having a virtual induction to welcome our new Psychi members. One of the neat things about this is that you'll receive a link to the induction that you can share with your friends and family so that you can celebrate with all of the people who matter in your life. You've worked hard to earn this recognition and we love that you can share that moment with them. Even though we can't be together tonight, our induction will look really similar to our normal induction ceremonies. First, we'll have welcomes from our president, John Whitehorn, and our vice president, Maria Sension Ibarra. Then Dr. Bowman will discuss the criteria that you had to meet in order to qualify for the invitation to join Psychi. She'll also share a little bit about the history of our Psychi chapter and some information about from the National Psychi Organization. After that, we will have Jennifer Powell. She's a recent graduate of ours who's now in graduate school, so she'll speak to you about Psychi at both the undergrad and the graduate levels. Then we'll have our virtual induction ceremony video that's sent to us by the National Psychi Organization. During this time, you'll have an opportunity to say your oath and take your pledge, and we really hope you'll do those things out loud. This is your induction to this really prestigious organization, so we hope you'll really participate in it. Enjoy that moment for yourself. Then we'll have a slideshow of our new inductees who provided pictures and a presentation to honor our graduating seniors. Finally, we'll have a short memorial for Dr. Brent Snow. He's our first provost actually at Texas A&M University, San Antonio, and he was a proud Psychi member. As your professors, we know how hard you've worked to learn all of the information that you had to learn in order to keep your GPAs up so that you could earn this opportunity to be part of our Psychi chapter. We congratulate you on all of your hard work and perseverance, and we welcome you into our chapter of the Psychi International Honor Society in Psychology. Here's your induction. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and congratulations to all those being inducted into Psychi. My name is John Whitehorn, and I'm your Psychi president. I know you have worked hard to be here and have earned the privilege of being inducted. Your perseverance and willingness to work hard has been recognized and we honor that as you are inducted as a member. Thank you for viewing this induction ceremony and I want to congratulate you all again. I hope to meet all of you in the coming semesters and hope you will support the new Psychi inductees as you become officers in Psychi and continue in a proud tradition. Thank you and have a good evening. Congratulations on your admission to Psychi, the National Honor Society in Psychology. Um, we are so excited that you are being inducted this semester. And uh, my name is Dr. Bowman and I am the membership advisor. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about some of the history of our chapter and um, about some of the membership requirements. So our chapter was founded in the spring of 2015, our first opportunity uh, since we had achieved independent accreditation from Kingsville. Before that time, we were able to join Kingsville's chapter if we chose, but our first opportunity to have our own chapter was in spring of 2015. And we got our application in as soon as we got our accreditation um, information. So we were very excited about that. We've been inducting students every semester since then. Um, so. 
Our requirements, um, you already heard a little bit about the requirements from our national organization. Um, they should be on this video as well. But um, I want to tell you a little bit about our individual chapter requirements. Um, the national office requires students to have a GPA at least in the top 35% of their class. So how we define that at AM San Antonio is 35% of arts and sciences. So um, it's not just a 35% of top 35% of psychology students, it's top 35% of arts and sciences students. So our entire college. Um, you have to be a psych major or minor. So we have several psych minors who are uh, with us as well. Um, and your psych GPA national office requires at least a 3.0. What we require in our chapter is you have to have at least one A in psychology, which means that you have to have more than a 3.0 um, because uh, you do need to have that, that A for us to consider you as a psych honor society member. Um, and uh, your um, hours in residence, um, the national office requires nine hours, as I mentioned to you, in psychology. Um, we are um, still uh, a very much a transfer institution, even though we do have all four years now, we still have a lot of transfers. Um, those nine hours, you need to be nine hours in residence. So as soon as you have nine hours of psychology here, then you can apply as long as you have 45 total hours. So the first opportunity to apply is the second semester of your sophomore year. Um, and uh, just another couple things uh, to bring up to you. We have some great benefits for you all too, especially if you're interested in research um, because you can get psych high grants for some research projects. If you think of something that you need to do a research project, you can get a grant um, to buy those materials and things like that. Um, we have had great success applying for grants in Psychi. Psychi has done a great job supporting its students. Um, also, there are travel awards for Southwestern Psychological Association and all of the other APA affiliates. Um, that includes you know, Southeastern, Rocky Mountain, Western Psychological Association, all the APA affiliates um, do have Psychi sections at their conferences and Psychi does offer travel awards to those conferences. Um, in addition to other potential awards too that um, vary based on the year. So you can check their website for those. But our students have also been successful getting some of those Psychi travel awards. So please take advantage of all those great opportunities that you have before you graduate. You are a lifetime member, so you're always going to be a Psychi member. Um, depending on individual chapter requirements, if you transfer to another school as an undergraduate, you, you may still be able to transfer your membership um, of Psychi from here to another place as well. Um, so um, please take advantage of everything that you can do with Psychi because there are a lot of great opportunities. And the website does tell you a whole lot more. And that changes every semester, so keep checking it. Um, congratulations again, and we are very happy to have you. Everybody. My name is Jennifer Powell. I graduated there from Texas A&M back in May of 2020. Um, however, I was inducted into Psychi, the International Honor Society in Psychology, back in March of 2019. Um, being a part of Psychi, at first I'm like, okay, this is a different organization. It was the first organization that I had been a part of. Um, I didn't know what to expect. And so when I was um, encouraged and I um, got inducted, I'm like, wow, um, all the opportunities that they have are amazing. And so, um, as you know, or if you don't, now you will, um, once you're a Psychi member, it's for life. You have all the benefits um, that come with being a member, um, including uh, being able to utilize it on your employment applications, on your resumes, um, and you'll receive an official certificate of membership. Um, you'll just be able to represent this amazing accredited um, organization. So a little backstory of, um, of how Psychi really helped me with um, my undergrad experience was um, I was scheduled to present my research at, SWA at the SWAPA convention. Unfortunately, um, there was a little offset with finances and so I applied for a travel grant and if you go online to their website, they are just full of resources. And so I looked through all the grants and the, and the awards and I saw the travel grant and I was like, hmm. So I um, applied for it and I received it and I was like, wow, this is awesome. Um, so I planned to go to SWAPA. We had everything planned and then COVID hit. And so unfortunately, I was not able to attend, not able to present my uh, 
my research study. Um, however, just knowing that I had that opportunity was um, awesome because I just felt like it that they give you these tools and these resources to help you blossom your experience. And so I hope that each and every one of you as a member of Psychi uses these resources that are available to you uh, to your to your benefit and ask questions. You have amazing staff there at at AM and they are willing to help you do the best that you can do. And even beyond um your undergrad experience into grad school opportunities are endless and so i hope you take advantage of the benefits that psychi has to offer and again i um am truly blessed to have been a part of that um organization and part of a m and again congratulations on your induction into the psychi You're attending this ceremony for one of two reasons. Either you or someone you know is being officially inducted into Psychi, the International Honor Society in Psychology. What this means is that you have excelled in your studies, have met Psychi's high academic requirements for membership, and are now being publicly recognized for your scholarly study of the science and application of psychology. Acceptance into Psychi is no easy task. For undergraduate students, it means that they are in the top 35% of their class and have completed numerous rigorous psychology-related courses. For graduate students, it means that they have committed themselves to furthering their psychological knowledge and skills beyond the baccalaureate degree. For faculty and alumni, it means that they have shown great skill and a willingness to educate future generations. You should feel proud. Psychi membership is a lifetime accomplishment one that members can include on their resumes, employment applications, and CVs. Countless employers recognize membership in Psychi as an indicator of high achievement. And that should be no surprise, because Psychi has an active community of hundreds of thousands of lifetime members located across the United States and around the world. Welcome to your chapter's induction ceremony. Hello. I'm Psychi's Executive Director, Dr. Martha S. Zolakovich, talking to you from the Psychi Central Office in Chattanooga, Tennessee. It is my privilege to take part in your induction into Psychi, the International Honor Society in Psychology, as a lifetime member. Did you know that the idea to establish Psychi came from two graduate students during a quick late-night conversation? It's true. And as a result of this conversation, just two years later, representatives of Psychi's first 11 chapters officially signed the Psychi Charter on September 4, 1929 at Yale University. Another 11 universities joined as charter chapters over the following year. Thanks to the bold idea and initiative of these two students, Edwin Newman and Frederick Howell Lewis, Psychi has grown tremendously and now boasts local chapters at 1,150 four-year colleges and universities in 18 countries and U.S. territories. Our society's humble beginnings are just one of many reasons we are so dedicated to nurturing each new generation of our student members. Because without bright young minds, Psychi wouldn't exist. Joining me now is Psychi's Director of Membership and Development, Cynthia Wilson who will do the honors of performing the official induction ceremony ritual. Members of Psychi, our purpose in meeting here is to induct into Psychi, the International Honor Society in Psychology, persons who are dedicated to the field of psychology. These candidates have been carefully reviewed by their local faculty advisor, and we believe they have demonstrated an active interest in the science of psychology and show promise as indicated by their academic records. Candidates, you are about to be inducted into an organization that is international in scope, international in interests, and international in opportunities. Active members are invited to participate not only in activities of the local chapter, but also in those of the regional and society organizations. 
Before accepting membership in Psychi, we invite you to hear its standards and ideals. The mission of Psychi is recognizing and promoting excellence in the science and application of psychology. The name of our organization, Psychi, represents the two Greek words, Psyche and Kairos. Psyche suggests scholarship and enrichment of our minds. Therefore, we have chosen as members those whose academic records are outstanding. Kairos stands for fellowship and research. Therefore, we invite you to join your new fellow members. By joining this organization, we work together for achievements in our field through observation, logical thinking, and critical yet tolerant open-mindedness. We accept that a fundamental teaching of psychology is the fact that individuals differ. This means that they have varying interests and motives and that they may strive for different goals. We look upon our science as a developing effort to understand human nature. With respect to your association with your chapter of Psychi, we as members have a right to expect you to attend our meetings, participate in our programs, further the cause of psychology on campus, and adopt the role of loyal alumni in the years ahead. You have heard the aims and ideals of Psychi. Do you, as individuals in the field of psychology, accept its goals and purposes as your own? If so, say, I do. You have signified your acceptance of the conditions of membership offered to you. We welcome you to the chapter and look forward to our fellowship. Members of the Psychi chapter, we will now install as officers those members of the group you have chosen to represent and lead you. Incoming officers, you have read the duties as outlined in the formal ritual for the induction of officers. Are you prepared to assume and discharge these responsibilities? If so, answer, I am. You are now duly elected officers of the Psychi chapter. In assuming the privileges and responsibilities of your office, you are responsible for this chapter. And now for the reading of the Platonic myth. Many years ago, Plato told the following story to his students. You, as all mortals, come into this world barren of knowledge and innocent of all truth. Of reality, you know nothing, like prisoners in a dark and cavernous chamber, arms shackled and weights about their necks, permitting them to see only the wall in front of them. You are chained in the dungeon of ignorance. People walk behind the prisoners, carrying with them statues of people and images of animals wrought in wood and stone, but they see them not. Only the shadows of these images fall within their ken. The people speak. Their voices, the prisoners, impute to the shadows. In the course of nature, the prisoners are released from their fetters. For the first time, they move, stand erect, turn and face the light. A new world confronts them. The newness of the vision blinds them. Unseen people are still passing by, carrying with them the statues of people and images of animals. With pain and difficulty, the prisoners discern these statues as the sources of the shadows. The people speak again. Their voices the prisoners now impute to the statues. The prisoners are now dragged into the open light. Their vision slowly becomes clear. Instead of phantoms and shadows in place of statues and models, they perceive the real. People and objects are distinguished from their images and shadows. Their adaptation continues and they see ever more clearly until in the distance they discern the source of the light. Now they may understand what has given rise to their vision. Bewilderment is the lot of us all. Often we perceive only models of the truth 
but we must go yet farther and find the very source of things with which we are dealing. We strive to free ourselves from the shackles of imperfect knowledge and attempt to come closer to a clear understanding of human thought and activity. Psychi invites you to share these strivings with those who share your interests. Thank you. Congratulations to our new members of Psychi. Along with recognition of academic excellence, members also receive access to many lifetime benefits. These are intended to enhance your psychology, career, and education. Each year, more than $400,000 are available to members in Psychi Awards, grants, and scholarships. Be sure to review these programs and apply to any that interest you. Students and faculty members, you can now publish your empirical research in our esteemed Psychi Journal of Psychological Research. Our journal is peer-reviewed by doctoral experts and is indexed in PsycInfo, EBSCO, and Crossref databases. Experience our rigorous but educational peer review process. Psychi also provides a digital magazine, Ion Psychi, a blog, Psychiology Lab, a podcast, Psych Everywhere, and a monthly webinar series. Each of these provide an abundance of career advice, psychology advancements, and tips for professional growth. You can also gain a variety of research experiences with Psychi. For example, each year members are invited to join NICE Crowd, which is Psychi's guided cross-cultural research project. Leaders of this project will help you navigate the IRB, collect data at your campus, analyze data, and provide publication opportunities as well. Psychi's unique Career Center helps members identify and obtain psychology-related jobs. Thousands of active psychology-related openings are regularly listed. So check back there often or set up automatic job alert notifications. Also related to jobs, the U.S. government accepts membership as one of the requirements for entrance at the GS7 level for numerous professional and technical occupations. Last but not least, many new leadership opportunities are now open to you at your local chapter. I encourage you to get involved in regular meetings and events, and do express your interest in becoming a future officer. So far, we've barely scratched the surface of all the ways to get involved in Psychi, and new membership benefits and programs are added often. To access and find out about new opportunities, visit www.psychi.org. I also recommend that you become a part of Psychi's online international community. Psychi has an active presence on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn. So go ahead, pull out your iPhone, and join us on social media at the platforms of your preference. I'll give you a moment to do that now. To conclude, join us in congratulating these new Psychi members on this very special occasion. Thank you for attending this ceremony, and welcome to membership in Psychi.